They've got a long way to go for this three miles. There is the favourite, Skew. Of course, he always jumped left-handed. This is a left-handed course. The horse is getting on his toes. I'm sure so is Peter. Let's join him. Come yes, on. this looks like it. That away. Cool ground. Celtic shot on the far side. Nearest to us is Carville's Hill. Just about to jump his first fence in public for Martin Pipe. And he lands in the lead from uh, Bonanza Boy. Don't uh, often see him up there so early. Carville's Hill from, how good as he jumped that too? Carville's Hill from Bonanza Boy and Aquilifer. It's the pipe uh, one, two, three at the moment. Then uh, Cool Ground and Catabatic and Celtic Shot. Carville's Hill really motoring at the outset of a three mile chase. Aquilifer now gone second. Carville's Hill from Aquilifer and Bonanza Boy and Celtic shot over on the far side, Catabatic and Cool Ground. Eighteen fences in all this time. Pace has been steadied a bit. Carville's Hill from Aquilifer and Bonanza Boy as they come to the third. Carville's Hill on the far side, Aquilifer center. On the near side, the left of the picture that is, is Celtic shot right up there. First of the ditches. Carville's Hill on the far side, Aquilifer with the sheepskin nose burn, Celtic shot nearest to us, left of the picture as we see them. Cool ground right up there, Bonanza Boy also over the fifth. Carville's Hill just got a little bit close to that one. Aquilifer upsides him and Celtic shot is third, Cool Ground is four, five and six are Bonanza Boy and Catabatic and there as you noticed uh, Aquilifer just got a little close to it, come to the fence to be the last in the next circuit, number seven. Carville Hill drew a gasp from the uh, crowd there, he's uh, the real one for promoting the sale of Valium, this, this fella. But he passes the post on the first circuit, about a length clear of Aquilifer, a gap then of about uh, 10 lengths to cool ground and Celtic shot. They're motoring it up front, and then Catabatic and Bonanza Boy. Peter Scudamore negotiates that turn where the Leggett carded him last time and has. Uh, about a three-length advantage over his stable companion, Aquilifer, with the former champion hurdler. Celtic shot going third, just ahead of cool ground. Catabatic still uh, waiting, Simon McNeil, in no hurry on Catabatic, holding him up to get the three miles, and then Bonanza Boy, he's almost upsides him, and Carville's Hill over on the far side now from Aquilifer. Coming to the next, the eighth of the 18 fences. Carvel's Hill from Aquilifer. Carvel's Hill clear of Aquilifer. Catabatic goes up now to dispute third with cool ground. Second of the ditches. Carvel's Hill lands clear of Aquilifer, cool ground. Catabatic, Bonanza Boy and Celtic shot over the 10th. Carvel's Hill from Aquilifer. Aquilifer getting closer now as they race towards the water. Carville's Hill lands in the lead from Aquilifer. Catabatic in third and cool ground four. Celtic shot looks really to be struggling now. Carville's Hill landed over the 12th from Aquilifer. Catabatic is in third and still going very well within himself. Carville's Hill Six out. Oh, he hit that one all right, Carvels. Gets, gets away with it, though. Carvels Hill from Aquilifer. Catabatic. These three now with a fairly commanding advantage over the remainder. Carvels Hill at the next. With five left to jump. Carvels Hill from Aquilifer and Catabatic. 
as they race into the straight. The next will be a plain one before the final ditch. Carvel's Hill, Peter Scudamore, being chased all the time by Aquilifo, who gets a big weight concession under Martin Foster. Katabatic back in third. And got a lot to do now. Five from home, Carville's Hill, and he hits that one again. And Aquilifa now, looking very much stronger. Aquilifa towards the left, Carville's Hill on the right. Peter Scudamore and Martin Foster, the last ditch, four from home. Aquilifa on the near side, Carville's Hill on the far side. And this big weight, looking as though it's now going to tell. Under pressure there, Aquilifa. Carville's Hill on the far side. It's a cracking performance by this Carville's Hill, whatever the result. Coming to the next, three out. Carville's Hill on the far side. He lands in the lead, but he pecks. He pecks, but gets away with it. Aquilifa's under pressure. Coming down to the second last now in the rehearsal chase. Carville's Hill on the far side. Aquilifa on the near side. Carville's Hill lands in the lead from Aquilifa. They're racing now towards the final fence in the rehearsal. And it's Carville's Hill running for the first time for Peter Scudamore, being chased by his stable companion, Aquilifa. They come to the last. Carville's Hill lands in the lead clear of Aquilifer. It's Carville's Hill from Aquilifer as they race up towards the line. But Aquilifer is gaining as they race towards the line. But Carville's Hill is holding him. And Carville's Hill's going to win. First time out for Martin Pipe in tremendous style. The assured favourite for the Gold Cup, I would guess. Carville's Hill is the winner. Second is Aquilifer. A very tired catabatic coming up towards the line now, being chased desperately by Bonanza Boy, but he's just going to hold him. Catabatic is third, but Anza Boy, the former Welsh national winner, is fourth, and a good run by him. Cool ground, another Welsh national winner, is fifth. And Celtic shot, emphasising the class of this race, a former champion hurdler and winner of 17 of his 36 races, is last, and he's winner of 243,000 himself. But this